Uh, rule number one when he gets home, don't have something in your teeth. That should probably be rule number one. It's still there. All right, let me go fix that. <laughs> Today's the day that Hunter finally comes home from what feels like the longest road trip ever. Well anyways, so I know he's been on the road. He went to, where did he go? He went to DC, Miami, he was, and then he went to LA for three days. So 11 days, he's been gone for 11 days, you guys. Living in a hotel, which you've known from my past videos, it's just not, you never are fully comfortable in my opinion. I'm sure they do all that they can and you know some hotels are really really amazing at making you feel at home and like. But I think just like moving so quickly like every three or four days just makes you feel like you know you're never fully unpacked and you've got to go and it's just go 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 all the time. To me when Hunter comes home it's a really special moment because I try to make the house as homey and cozy as possible for him and I actually like really prep the house so when he gets in it's clean, it's organized, he feels comfortable and just like ready to just unwind and just relax when he gets here. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me as pretty much as I, you know, make the house, put it back together because, you know, me living here for a week while he's gone or for 11 days, things get a little messy, you know, like I'm pretty clean, but you know, still stuff gets put out of place and whatever. So for instance, like I have my jacket over here I have a book over there, I have like that I'd like to put away, and just little tricks and stuff that I do to just make it more cozy and homey. And so he feels really good when he gets home, and, and that's the feeling we're going for today, guys. You and I, we're gonna make this house even more cozy, because it's pretty darn cozy, let me tell you. But I have to fix up the office too, and that's usually where he like meditates and takes time away, and I had been working out of there a little bit, so it's a little messy. So I have to go fix it, I have to go fix the bed, I have to go do all that fun stuff. So pretty much you're really just watching me put my house back together. Just kidding, I have some tricks. For one, what I always do is I like to make sure I have all his snacks in the house, okay? So we're gonna start in the kitchen. So, I have to make sure I have all his snacks, which are Cape Cod from Whole Foods, like, like handfuls. <sighs> he just eats it. Sun chips, I bought an extra bag of fresh one. Yeah, and then he also likes to put Parmesan cheese, which I bought, shredded Parmesan cheese, and Cholula, which I have in there, always have Cholula, and shredded Parmesan cheese. He likes to put it in here, shake it up, and eat it like that. So I have that just in case. I also bought him a little surprise chips by late July, jalapeno lime. I've heard amazing things about these chips, so I just wanted to have them on hand. Maybe he wants to try something new. And then in the freezer, chocolate chip cookie dough. Ben and Jerry's, we're big fans. He loves it. And then what I did earlier today was I baked some paleo cookies, chocolate chip cookies for him because I know how much he loves them. And it also leaves a really good smell in the house. Okay guys? The chocolate chip cookies, it leaves like a good like, oh, what were you cooking Lex? Oh, this, nothing, right? So I made them, they're cooling right now and then I'll plate them later and I'll just like have them out for him and then we're gonna move on. So once my dishes dry too, I'm gonna put those away. So everything looks really clean and put together. You know what I mean? All right, so now I have to go around the house and like gather all my stuff, make sure everything's all put together. This jacket, my glasses. <laughs> okay, I can put it here. I kind of leave my workspace as is because it's my workspace, you know what I mean? Okay, pillows on the couch, right? I like to fluff them, make sure they're all nice. Okay, so then I'm just gonna fluff these up so they look really good, looks really good. Cool, so I'm just gonna go around the house and straighten it up a little bit. Aha, a cord. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this cord. I like to just put these, like, we have these little things, so I just kinda like tuck them in there, so we can just, you know, when, they're not like seen, you know? Just kinda like put it away a little bit. All right, so I've gotta put my camera back away. I'm gonna go put it in the back room in this closet that we have here. That's like all legit, let's get Lexi stuff. Eventually I need to clean this closet. This is like that closet in Friends, like Monica's. <laughs> all right, so then I'm gonna just straighten up in here. Just, you know, try to tidy it up a little bit, just so it's, you know, it feels really good. These are sound bowls, which are really cool. Let me bring you closer. 
We got these for Hunter for, for something, I forget what. What holiday or whatever, but. And you're supposed to give yourself like a sound bath with them. I really like them. To, even though this is supposed to be my office, I try not to dirty it too much for him. <laughs> He's sort of taking it over now as his meditation slash gaming spot with his awesome computer that Nvidia gave him. Look how cool this computer is. Put it back here. That's Hunter. Yeah, they have his bats here and his lizard skin. It's a bat here. Then on the other side, they have like it's with giants, that kind of stuff. This is his little workstation. How cute is he? He has all his little picture of us right here. And then he has like a troll, Pikachu, this guy from Overwatch, Yoda, little sword. He's just awesome. And then this is like the bathroom he uses when he's gaming back here. I wanna make sure there's toilet paper back here for when he gets home. Now for my room, which is a little messy. Oh shoot. Okay, so when he comes in, this is like our front foyer. When he comes in, he likes to just plop his suitcase. He likes to plop his suitcase like right there, so I need to clear that out. Isn't it so funny how I, so when I sleep here, like his side of the bed doesn't even get like touched. My side, like, I, like do I even move at night? Like, for real. And I just like lay the, <laughs> the pillows like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bed. Literally the most easy bed fix ever. Okay. Okay, so that's fixed. So that was easy. Now I'm gonna go make sure the bathroom is clean, none of my hair is anywhere, and make it like nice and clean and everything's put away, like none of my products are anywhere, just so he doesn't feel like blah, blah, blah when he gets home. I'm gonna get ready. I can guarantee you every single baseball wife when their husband comes home from the road is doing the same exact thing. It's like, everyone, come on, audience on deck. We've gotta clean the house, we've gotta put it together and make it seem like we live like this all week. Okay, so I took a shower and I did my hair a little bit. I got dressed. Going <laughs> from my pajama pants to sweatpants. So I set up all of the, let me show you, bath salts for anything. Hunter, if he wants to come home and take a bath, they're all set up and ready for him to go. And the martini, and this is an emotional detox bath soak. This is if you're feeling a little under the weather. Oh no, wait, recovery bath soak. This is like sleepy time bath. And then this is if you're feeling under the weather. He wants to take a bath and relax, he can. Or he can just take a regular shower. I put out his fresh towel. You know, we got all the good stuff, guys. But I'm not done, so I set that up because I when he gets home and you say he wants to take a shower or a bath. I know what you're thinking, a guy taking a bath, but you guys, don't underestimate the bath, okay? The bath is amazing. Okay, so I put a diffuser by his bed and I like to fill it with lavender before he gets home and it just smells so good and clean and fresh. I also set the bedroom temperature a crisp 68. Not 69, not 67, 68 is the good one. Um, their sleep therapists or their sleep doctors at the Giants said that that's like the ideal temperature to sleep at. Okay, so let me show you how I do the diffuser. So the diffuser is right here and I put in, this is just like an old water bottle that I use for like water plants and stuff and for this. And I fill it up to the water level and I take a couple of this lavender essential oil, and I sprinkle a couple of the drops into the diffuser. See it, guys? That's gonna smell up the room in here. I like to light a candle in the foyer so he doesn't feel like, you know, candles are just welcoming. You just feel more welcome, you know? So let me just go light this. All right, right here. I really like these candles. They're by uh, Lafco. And they smell so good. I feel like it makes your whole space more zen. There you go, I lit that candle. Then I've got another hallway candle here I like to light. Oh, I should go this way. Another Lasco candle. So we've got the one in the hallway. You can kind of see it twinkling there. There's a little bit of light there. I have the fridge fully loaded, right? 
We have our snacks. The other thing is like our drinks and we have food that's cold brew, but we have all our drinks. Some food just in case he didn't eat. We have everything we could possibly need in terms of food, right? Right. <laughs> and the incense is a must. This candle is the awesome candle I really, really love. And it's the Happily Ever Pence edition. My friend Ivy made it for me. She makes candles, the awesome candle. And she just made this one for our wedding, which is really, really great. And I love it. And I'm going to be so sad when it's done. But hopefully she can custom make me another one. Now, what do you have on the TV when he gets home, right? Not just him, but anyone. Say you're having guests, right? Like these are all really great things to have for guests. It's like a nice feeling to go into someone's home and feel welcome and like it's a nice, good energy and space because I think that really helps a lot. And especially in like baseball, you know, like Hunter's moving from hotel to hotel and just moving all the time. It's so stressful, especially this year for us. Like, it's just so stressful. So I wanna make sure I create an environment for him that's really calm. And that's kind of what I've done. So now I just decide what I'm gonna have on the TV and I already know what I'm gonna have. I know Seinfeld because it's one of Hunter's favorite shows and we decided to rewatch it. And I'm just gonna have it on, you know? I'm gonna be sitting on the couch, nice cozy blanket, waiting for him. And that's, that's what's gonna happen. So we'll see you guys when he gets home. Okay, so Hunter just texted me. He's at the field on his way home. So that means I went and brushed my teeth, especially because I found that thing in my teeth. So I went and I brushed them just so I had some fresh breath when he gets home. That's it, really? Now I just wait. So we've lit the candles, the incense is going, the cookies are cooked, temperatures are all right. Um, the TV is on, ready to go, and um, that's it. And I put on some chapstick so I can give him a big, fat, juicy kiss when he gets home. And uh, that's it, really. Guys, that's how we do it. What'd you think? Do you notice all the stuff I do when you come home? I know. <laughs> it's crazy. You're so sweet. Thank you. And how does it make you feel when you come home? I feel very loved. You do? Really loved. Yay! That was awesome. Thank you. You're so welcome. You're the best one. Well guys, there you have it. It's totally worth it if he feels loved and welcome. It and really is crazy. I'm so lucky. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below what you guys do to welcome your guests. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Why? Because we post videos here every single week. Also, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and hit that bell button next to the description so you get notified every time I upload a video because you're not gonna wanna miss a thing. See you next time. Bye.